Hi, Tiffany here for Manor House Creations. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this layout. So let's get started. So in the pattern paper, um, a lot of times you see there's a, just a lot that you can cut out and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using some of the pattern paper to make um, kind of like an embellishment for the page. Uh, here I'm taking some texture paste and some pigment powder. I am just taking a little tiny bit of that powder and I'm just going to be mixing it into the paste, uh, making it a, a very light pink color. I'm now taking that paste and I'm using a mask or a template and I'm just running it the uh, texture paste over the template. Um, randomly and I'm doing it very thick I want to have a lot of texture on this page um, in the background and it, the pink is not too bright or too dark so it's going to be very subtle on the back I am now taking these flowers and just adding some of the the uh, paste to the flowers um, just to kind of give it a little bit of color and um, of course some more texture I love texture so can't ever have too much of that. I'm now taking this wood frame and just uh, painting it with some gesso and um, I'm going to leave it white and I'm going to be adding some gesso to these flowers here and I added some more texture paste to a few of the other flowers as well. I'm using that same mask and some a little bit of that extra texture paste and using it on this uh, pattern paper here that I'm going to be adding to the page. And you can see here I'm going to be adding the paper uh, to the page. I'm first going to be using this Martha Stewart border punch to uh, punch out just a little um, lacy border on the bottom there. I'm adding the paper um, to the page now and I'm going to be flipping it over because um, it is a die cut shape so I'm taking these cutter bee scissors perfect for precision cutting I love them um, and just cutting around where uh, you could see where the shape is I'm taking that pattern paper that I had cut out in the beginning of the video um, just laying it on top of uh, the the 12 by 12 sheet of paper and just taking some more strips of the paper I did end up cutting out more of that uh, design there I really liked it so um, I cut out a few more um, pieces of it and I had um, that's a piece from uh, the border strip on the bottom of the paper um, I love it when the pattern papers have that because it just is sometimes a little extra piece that you need and so you don't have to cut out a full piece of paper. Um, and here I'm taking the scissors again and just cutting off all those extra little pieces. I'm taking some of this gorgeous lace and layering it on um, to where I want um, the lace to be. And now I'm placing the photo on top and I'm just kind of randomly kind of figure out where I want the flowers to go um, before I adhere them all down. The wood piece that I had painted earlier in the video, I had cut it apart and I'm just placing it around the photo there. And I'm just adding the last few uh, little touches with some butterflies. I always have butterflies on my layouts and um, that completes uh, the project and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like I said if you have any questions please feel free to ask me and I will catch you guys later. Bye!